So I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Subham Sahani for scoring rank number one in DM Medical Oncology in uh, any SS session April 2023. And uh, best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Great to have you in the session today. And can we know your brief background history from where you started till date? What have you done? Yes, sir. I am Dr. Shubham Sahani. I have done my MBBS from the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Rishikesh. Following that, I have done my MD in Medicine from Ames, New Delhi. And I have completed my MD in December of 22. Uh, and uh, post that, I have been working on a non-academic post uh, at Ames, New Delhi itself in the Department of Medical Oncology. And uh, and uh, and I scored rank one this time. <laughs> Great. Now, why medical oncology in particular? Because after you finished in December 22, and you, you, you went for a medical oncology department. Uh, I mean, was it posted or purposefully you have joined there? No, sir. Actually, um, when I was rotated through all the specialties in, uh, in medicine as part of the rotations, so my friends used to mock me by saying that I'm not loyal to any one branch. <laughs> so, uh, whenever I was posted in gastro, so I was interested in that. In neurology, I was interested in that. So I had gained the fame of being non-loyal to a particular branch. Uh, that's that's because the reason I took up medicine was for the love of medicine, and I like the variety and uh, that there, that there is in medicine. So what happened was when I was posted in medical oncology as part of final year rotations, I I thought that this is the branch and this offers the opportunity of uh, being diverse as well as being specialized at the same time. So uh, that was when I got interested in oncology. So in my final year, it was a little bit difficult to handle oncology uh, studies along with, you know, uh, studying for medicine as well. But I somehow managed reading uh, basics of oncology and uh, I gave uh, the INISS last time with my final year exam and I scored a rank of seven uh, last time. Uh, and uh, I had missed by a margin of 0.3 marks. So uh, that's when I thought, ki, uh, I think, uh, I mean, I, I really want to get into AIMS itself because that's my alma mater. So that's why I, jo I joined the Department of Medical Oncology itself because I wanted to join here itself. So that's how uh, it was. <laughs> then what happened? Then how then, you started the preparation? So, uh, sir, uh, I From mean... Seven to my, one. Seven to one. <laughs> yes, sir. Seven to one. So I frankly think, I mean, uh, my preparation last time was frankly, uh, I mean, it was not up to the mark. It was basically, as we say, a, a, you know, it was just calm chalao types, as we say in North India. So uh, I had read basics of oncology. I was thorough with that. But, you know, delving into the depths of oncology and uh, the, the things that they ask, I was not very thorough with that. So in these uh, five odd months that I had, I uh, went through, uh, you know, the, the other parts of oncology into uh, the depths as well. So uh, I think that really helped. And uh, I watched all, I mean, I had already watched all the speed videos of oncology last time. So this time I actually rewatched them and some of the videos that were there, which I had not watched, I went through them again. I already had the notes, so it was a bit easier. Uh, and, you know, even the crash course that uh, there was, I watched that again, uh, the, that was there for medical oncology. So ultimately, I really feel that uh, it's all about revision. So uh, one can really complete the course in, uh, say, three months or four months. It's, it's, it's all about revision, how many revisions one does and how you're able to retain whatever you have, you have studied. At the same time, being grounded and not thinking that you have to become the master of oncology in these four months, but you have to know whatever is asked in oncology per se. I think that is uh, the most important thing. Great. Now, can you tell us what is the message that you want to give to the juniors uh, to were aspiring to do DM and what will be the advice to choose what they wanted and how they should go about it? Sir, uh, I mean, many juniors uh, keep on asking that how did you decide oncology or uh, like if and when you decided oncology, how did you proceed? Mm -hmm. So my answer to all of them is that till final year at least, uh, don't be loyal to a subject. Keep on studying. Uh, I mean, keep on studying every speciality as if you want to do that speciality later on. Uh, and, you know, uh, try to approach each rotation, each speciality in a holistic manner so that by the time you enter final year, you are thorough with the basics of medicine because ultimately 30 questions are going to come from general medicine. And they, uh, per se, I feel are rank breakers or rank makers. Oh. So I think by final year uh, starting, you should be thorough with medicine. 
if you have time you can start with uh, your specialty of choice whichever you want to aspire for uh, start reading it uh, bit by bit at the same time handling the general medicine part as well uh, well and um, i i really feel that uh, platforms like speed and all uh, they give you a lot of information which you have to process in your own manner and try to grasp whatever you want to grasp from them because ultimately information is endless and i really feel that things like crash courses and things like uh, you know rapid revision courses really have a very big impact on the memory that is created while you are giving the final exam so for me like for example uh, if someone asks me that uh, uh, did i memorize the entire video verbatim so no what i did was that i watched the video once then the next time when i uh, have to revise the topic i watched that same video at 2x so uh, the third time when i had to watch i watched it 2x skipping the non important parts so I, it kind of you know uh, i was aware that at this minute or at this second this topic is going to come so i think uh, that's how you should plan your revisions and plan the subject in such a manner that you are able to complete it in time and uh, i i mean i would like to take this opportunity to really uh, thank uh, the teachers at uh, you know uh, oncology so uh, first of all dr praful pandey his videos are amazing he's been my uh, post graduate senior as well and he's going to be my uh, dm senior as well <laughs> and his uh, his videos are really amazing and uh, i mean uh, even if questions some questions are not going to be asked directly from that video but they build very strong solid concepts and give you uh, an interface on which you can build up so you know the basics of oncology the oncological emergencies whatever he has described are amazing and uh, even dr santosh's videos i really like them and it covers almost everything i feel uh, and there is not much more to add and if you want to add to that maybe you can add excerpts from up to date or you know the first 750 pages of devitas the old devitas i think uh, coupling all of them uh, it is all one needs to crack oncology at aims also some practical knowledge because you're going to ask a lot of practical questions what about general medicine of 30 questions I mean how did you uh, plan for that so frankly i mean no one would believe but in the past four months i haven't touched a bit of medicine whatever medicine i attempted in this exam it was purely based on my previous knowledge and the skills of exclusion and inclusion of options and i really feel that four months is very less time or say for that matter even a year is very less time for one to go through the speciality as well as well as go through you know the basic feeder subject as well so that's why i always say ki you should be thorough with the medicine part and end it there itself by the time your md comes uh, md exits and uh, i think uh, only the impo- super important things can be covered in the uh, last few months like for instance uh, emergencies bls acls toxicology part can be covered because these are certain things that one would uh, or heavy metals these are certain things that one would miss or forget even if they've studied in their md and they're definitely going to ask these questions and aims medicine part the 30 questions they are not going to be uh, things like uh, how many uh, what percentage of cases will have anti ro anti lyn so and so disorder they are going to be application based questions and they are really going to test whether you have actually worked in the ward and you have opened the book or not so okay. i think uh, no one need not worry i was very worried i remember i i messaged you uh, uh, before the exam that sir i'm not able to cover the medicine part and it's a lot so you send me a, a voice message saying that uh, great doctor you did it last time you'll do it this time as well so <laughs> so i yeah. think uh, you have to remain motivated it's i think it's a process and uh, whichever phase you are in it's people are there at different phases some are married some are unmarried some have less time some are working some are not working at the end of the day everyone is equal and uh, whatever preparation you have done you know before that Uh, and whatever uh, you know skills you have acquired throughout your course i think that's what matters uh, so that's what i feel sir so how many questions did you attend doctor i attempted all of them sir 80 out of 80 yes sir not not even a single question you want to miss it so actually uh, i was not aware of a few questions at all but uh, i always feel that i felt that the exam was really easy this time so in an easy exam i feel that if you play very safe or even if you play i mean a bit of safe you are going to lose on a lot of points so i took the risk anyway i am a risk t- i have a risk taking behavior so <laughs> i attempted all of them uh, i know i would have marked a lot of them wrong as well 
because I mean I did not score a full score, but then at the end of the day, uh, the positives you know they will add up, and it's just minus one by three. So even if you know fifty percent of them, I think it's a safe bet to go ahead and answer if you think that the exam is easy. <laughs> Very nice. Now I think you're back into the same alma mater where you uh, want to be, and uh, I think it's a great feel now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm in love with this field. I've been working in this field for the past six months. and i really feel that probably this was my calling and that's why i took up medicine because i had to <laughs> go into oncology and i really feel that uh, i mean people should be more aware about this field and uh, even even if people don't have rotations in their college in medical oncology department they should definitely come to aims or any other central institute there are a lot of non academic posts available to try to experience or go through uh, you know oncology say for at least 5 to 6 months and i don't think there'll be any looking back what what do you mean by non academic post sir uh, so i mean uh, there are many posts available so like there are non academic sr posts people who are not doing uh, uh, i mean uh, dm sr ship but they they will be doing the same amount of work that a non academic sr would be doing and there are a lot of research posts as well so one needs to be aware uh, you know of these posts and if they want to experience oncology in its best so i think this Uh, this is a good uh, thing to experience so they can work for some time and they can understand what exactly yeah. is yeah. because sir i feel that i mean branch, a branch like oncology or for say hematology if one does not have much exposure during their md and even if they end up scoring say rank 1 in their first attempt if god forbid they do not like that branch then then it's it's a, a whole see. journey is wasted or the process is wasted so you can look at uh, you know working in oncology unit you can work in a light oncology unit also you can work on a research post as well but uh, the thing is that you should be sure i mean this these kind of jobs ensure that you are sure about the field that you are going to enter into so and also gives you exposure so like uh, there were a lot of practical questions this time there were questions like uh, which anti epileptic would you use for busulfan Uh, in a hematopoietic stem cell transplant mm. during conditioning so i perfectly remember that i had studied that anti epileptics have to be given before busulfan but which anti epileptic i don't think uh, i mean it's definitely given somewhere so if someone has worked then they would definitely be aware of uh, such questions ultimately you have to answer those questions it's not about how much oncology you know Very nice, doctor. So, time to thank whom all you want to thank. You can use this platform to thank whom you want. So, first of all, I would like to thank my parents and my sister. I feel that it's been too long a journey from MBBS to you know DM entrance, numerous exams, numerous entrances, and then they've always held my back. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I think this was. I hope, hopefully, this was the last entrance exam to be given, and I think it ended on a very good note. so i would like to thank my parents for having my back all the time my sister uh, dr diksha for always having my back and next i would like to thank my friends i had a great great uh, you know friend support uh, during my residency um, uh, my uh, all my friends are, got rank 1 2 3 you know in all these uh, entrances dm entrances and they are there in aims itself so i think having a good friend circle also my alma mater aims new delhi and the department of medicine it's an amazing place and i don't think i if i have to repeat residency i would do it at aims delhi itself <laughs> and also my uh, ug alma mater aims rishikesh and all the faculty members and, and also speed definitely <laughs> great so nice interacting with you and uh, we I mean thanks for sharing those valuable uh, areas of preparation definitely uh, it'll be useful for people who are viewing this once again we wish you a great career in oncology and a great specialty and with your enthusiasm with your dedication and love for that subject will make a huge difference in the service of patients and best best wishes once again all the best to you thank you so much sir have a great evening thank you